State police are asking for your help tonight in a deadly hit and run case that you may have missed in the middle of the pandemic. Irvin Butch Brindell died two weeks ago while running just outside North Little Rock on Highway 70. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt explains what detectives are now looking for. This is a busy stretch of road, but Butch Brendel knew his way around it. He ran marathons and lived nearby. Now police and family are hoping anybody else who lives nearby or knows what happened that day could come forward with information. We need your help, and the sooner the better. A desperate plea from a grieving sister. Anita Campbell lost her brother on April 21st. The driver hit him as he ran along Highway 70 near Harris Road. Arkansas State Police caught the case. Due to the leads in this investigation, we believe that someone knows something, or maybe multiple people know, know some things about this case. They should know if they noticed a type of GM SUV missing a passenger side mirror. A Yukon, an Escalade, a Denali, a Tahoe. It will be from the 2003 to 2006 model years. It will have damage to the front end, or at least it did two weeks ago. Body shops, salvage yards, anyone that's ordered a mirror. You should know about Brendel, an avid runner with medals from marathons. So many, his sister lost count going through his things these past two weeks. The 51-year-old was a physical therapist for the VA. Please, please, whatever you can, just, just please help. And if you know that you're that driver, these people are asking for closure. These clues they have are not much, but detectives are determined. We're going to find you. OK, it would be it would be so much braver of you to come in and let us hear your side of the story. There could be a logical explanation as to what happened on the side of um, State Highway 70. Just come in and talk, talk to the police, tell them your side of the story and just get it off your shoulders. In North Little Rock, Roly Hoyt, THV 11 News. State police have a tip line set up. We have it on THV11.com posted with the digital version of this story for you to share. Remember, it's a mid 2000s GM SUV that had some damage about two weeks ago.